Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Kitchen Goat. I'm Jason and today's brought to you by Sunburst Tomatoes out of Nashville. You can see them Fridays at the Nashville Farmers Market from 3 to 7 or Saturdays from 8 to 1 at the Rocky Mount uh, Farmers Market. So here's what I've got. Today we're going to make marinara sauce. It's going to be a two-day process. So I got one small onion. I got uh, some garlic and a little bit more free-range onion. So what we're going to do, and I looked at this, I'm going to add about a cup of white wine to the bottom of the crock pot. I'm going to add a bunch of tomatoes and I'm going to pull that skin off because I'm going to show you something I'm, I'm doing with the skin later. So I'm just going to load this up. This is going to be a, a overnight process. So, and thanks to This Is Us, I'm kind of scared of doing it, but I, I have faith. So anyway, what we're going to do is I'm going to fill this up with our lovely tomatoes that I've um, I boiled and I've pulled the skins off. These are the skins here. And what I do is I put them in my dehydrator and make this. This is tomato powder. And the nice thing about tomato powder is if you get, uh, if you make a bunch of soup and it gets, you know, not tomatoey enough or something like that, you just add some of this. And I'll be right back. So what you do is you put it in a container with ice water and the skins just pull right off after you boil it for about two minutes. Um, I've had to boil it a little bit more for some of the bigger ones. But just watch this, how easy it is. I say that, and luckily this came off pretty easily. Just like that and then we're going to put these in my dehydrator and um, about two days later you got tomato powder which is one less thing that you know you have to worry about and it's better than buying it I guess uh, it's kind of like this marinara sauce so I almost put that in there. That wouldn't have hurt anything. So what we're going to do, have to make sure there isn't anything else. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put that in there. I'm going to add some uh, basil and oregano, about a handful. Got that out of my garden. I've done my container gardens again. I want to know if any of you are still doing your container gardens because I remember in 2020 a lot of people were doing some crazy stuff for tomato cages. So anyway we're going to put this on high for about four hours and then put it on low for the rest of the uh, evening. And what I'm going to do I'm going to add a little pepper and you're going to season this after everything's done and emulsified. So, put this on like this, and we'll see in a couple of hours. This is something easy. We'll, we'll uh, mason jar it up, we'll pressure can it, and have fun with it. And that way, when it comes to, uh, you know, the winter time, and you want some fresh tasting tomatoes, there you are. Now, you could freeze it, but I don't have any freezer space, so this is what we're doing. We'll see you in a couple hours. All right, so it's been 24 hours in the crock pot. And we have our cauldron of goodness. I'm going to emulsify it. So...
And it's kind of weird because it creates a vacuum and sucks right to the bottom. So, I'm gonna, I did not touch it with my lips, but uh, as you can tell, this is kind of thin. Needs a little bit more basil, and uh, salt and pepper. I'm not going to put sugar in it. I'm not worried about the acidity. I'm not going to cry. So we're going to open up some tomato paste. I'm going to cook it down and we're going to have some fun. We'll be right back. Okay, for a widow can, I got a widow spatula. Oops. And see, this little can of paste is going to go a long way. You might need two. We'll figure it out. But, you know, there's nothing like making your own stuff. And, you know, it's a cool adventure. That's what, that's what it's all about. And, you know, start out small and work your way up. And if you screw up, you screw up. Now... Out of my garden, got some basil, some uh, Greek oregano, and some parsley. I'm gonna throw some basil in there, and some Greek oregano, and a little bit of parsley. Oh look, it didn't work. Alright. Back in you go. Tip it on diagonal. If at first you don't succeed, chop it up some more. <laughs> Back. Little salt, little pepper, and another uh, thing of tomato paste. The old spoon test comes right off. It's really good. Nothing like homemade. And now the spoon goes right into the sink. And I think I might have to add one more thing of paste. We'll give it a shot. All right, so 35 minutes in a water bath that I took them out using this thing. These are wonderful. Keeps, uh, keeps you from burning yourself. And whammo bammo, you get some of this. Homemade uh, marinara sauce. Give it a shot. Check out Sunburst Tomatoes. 
Fridays at the Nashville Farmers Market, Saturdays at the Rocky Mountain Farmers Market. Give it a shot. Remember folks, be kind, be excellent to each other, and have a great day. I'll see you soon.